LA Late, this, this is Javita Late, and thank you for that beautiful, melodic, flamenco-like music. Uh, but, you know, I'm very sad tonight. I just watched the President's Address, and I realize that there's not going to be another round of EIDL and PPP under the fourth and fifth stimulus package. Do you realize that we've had EIDL under the first, second, and third stimulus packages, but there will be no EIDL in fourth and stimulus package, and fifth, and there'll be no more PPP? Does this mean this is the coming end of SBA as we know it? You know, the fifth stimulus package is all about the babies. Can we have a BBB loan? <laughs> the BBB loan instead of the PPP. Just the BBB loan. And how about, if we're not going to have EIDL, can we just have, you know, the B-I-E-I-D-L, or the, the B-L-T? This just feels like at the end of a, the end of an era. I just the presence calling it quits on the EID on the PPP. I don't know what to do. Uh, I may have to drown myself in scarves on a hot set in LA in 80 degree weather to get through this. <laughs> LA, I've never been so depressed in my life ever since um, ever since uh, 30 something called it quits, <laughs> and ever since I knew who Shusha Jr. <laughs> It's evenings, LA. It's a late night, a special broadcast of LA late night after the president's bicameral congressional address. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful night. Thank you for joining me on that live broadcast of the president's address of the American people. And boy, uh, uh, Sir Lloyd was watching. I think he was watching. <laughs> Let's see if Sir Lauren was watching. If you don't know who Sir Lauren is, he is the uh, chief negotiator for the cows that got the stimulus before everyone else. And he's joining us now. Sir Lauren, how are you? I'm very good. How are you, LA? But you haven't told viewers what the show's about. Oh, yes, yeah, so I have to tell viewers what the show's about. This is LA Late Night. This is the most uninformative show you're going to tune in to ever. This is not an informative show. It is a humor only broadcast. It is a humor only broadcast. And viewers always tune in like late in, in the show and they say, uh, why are you laughing? Why are there jokes? We're supposed to be crying. <laughs> they do say that. They say that I'm. They say that we're supposed to be crying on this channel. <laughs> See, there you're laughing again. Uh, yeah, I know. Every time that someone tells me I'm supposed to be crying and no laughs, it's just <laughs> I don't know what what they expect of me. Tell them a tell them a, uh, a nursery rhyme by Nancy Pelosi. That'll put them in tears. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a good start, Sir Lloyd. We are off to a good start. Uh, so, Sir Lloyd, did you see the president's uh, address to the American people tonight? Dress? No, address. Oh, oh, I thought that was another channel. <laughs> no, I did not see his address. Was that the um, State of the Union address? No, it's not called the State of the Union address. So, it's in disunion? <laughs> No, it's not a disunion. Well, if it's not a disunion, why does he not call it the State of the Union address? Because it's he's only been in office for... Um, 100 days, so they don't call the first speech the State of the Union Address. Why don't they call it the first 100-day speech? Because <laughs> the congressmen, they have to do things difficult. <laughs> they have to come up with a difficult name. And, uh, yeah, so that <laughs> that's why. So did you watch it? No, I did not. Uh, so what, what what did you watch instead? I mean, I had, I had it live on the channel tonight. You did not watch me? No, I did not. So what did you watch instead? I watched MacGyver. <laughs> MacGyver, why'd you watch MacGyver? Because it's sort of like what the president's gonna have to do. He's gonna have to use scotch tapes to put this all together, because none of that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Scotch tape, just a lot of scotch tape and some PVC pipe, and then like that glue stuff that MacGyver always uses. He's gonna Biden's gonna have to do it because none of this stuff makes sense. And so what does climate have to do with infrastructure? And what does children have to do with schools? And why are we giving seventy-five thousand dollars to someone who just came out of the womb? I don't know. Does MacGyver know? No, that's in tomorrow's episode. <laughs> it's in tomorrow's episode. So um yeah, it it, it was interesting. Um so what did he do? Duty uh, let me let me guess what he did. Uh, <laughs> you sort of know this present pretty well. Yes, he probably came out in a breathment. <laughs> yes, he came out with a breathment. He had a binder. He had a binder. <laughs> he 
<laughs> he always has a binder. He doesn't know anything unless he has that binder next to him. In that binder is Nancy Pelosi on uh, Redial. <laughs> and what else do you think he did? Oh, I think he whispered a lot. Because when he wants to be convincing, he whispers. <laughs> he does whisper a lot. He whispers when he wants to make it convincing. <laughs> yes, that's that's his that's his shit. Uh, yeah, that's what he does. So tonight, the president of the United States addressed the American people about the fourth stimulus package and the fifth stimulus package and the sixth stimulus package together. And he kept track of that. <laughs> I, you know, it was just sort of all over the place. Was that only, you know, did he only just stop at the six stimulus package? Well, he sort, it sort of sounds like he was going to the seventh stimulus package. But I mean, at the, after that point, I lost track. <laughs> It just wasn't very, wasn't very clear. Uh, and so is this stuff that he's going to get done? Well, um, <laughs> this is stuff he hopes to get done. Oh, so sort of like, um, sort of like the hope that Kelly Dodd lasts to 15 seasons on Orange County High School. <laughs> yes, sort of like the hope that Kelly Dodd lasts more than another season on Orange County High School. Uh, yeah, it, it's, yeah, there's a lot of hopefulness in tonight's uh, address from Congress. Did you see the details that came out before the president addressed the American people? I released them to the members of the channel, the Purple Hawks. I did, I did. I was very impressed by your early reporting. Very good, uh, very good. And did you have an opinion about it? Yes. It's all crazy. <laughs> it's, it, it's all crazy. It's all, it's just very, um, it's very strange. Do you have, uh, I, I think I have the, uh, the, 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 the provisions. Let, let me go through it. So we're going to give uh, $200 billion for all three to four year olds to go to preschool. So rich kids could send their kids to preschool and the American people are gonna pay for rich billionaires to send their three to four year olds to preschool. That doesn't make a lot of sense, Helen. No, it it it, do, it does it doesn't. Um, what what else did you think that was strange in there? Um, that he's going to we're gonna give two years of free co community college for all students, so rich people's two year old ch children can go to community college. We're gonna to pay to put rich kids kids to community college because they were not rich enough to pay off to send them to to a real college. <laughs> <laughs> you actually said that. I actually said that. I actually said that. They were they were not rich enough to actually pay them to pay their way to get them into a real college, so they had to go to community college. <laughs> and we're gonna have the federal government pay for it. <laughs> it's, it's sort of like that. It is sort of reverse. Yes, it doesn't make sense. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know why we're paying to put rich kids' kids in community college. I mean, you know, it's, um, you know, some kids that go to community college goofed off in high school because they're rich. They're rich. They were more focused on trying out that new AMG Mercedes they got because they turned 16 and they didn't really study. So they went to community college and guess what? We pay for it. <laughs> you. No, the American people pay for it because they were too busy in high school enjoying their AMG car so that they didn't go to a real college, they went to a community college. Well, community college is some of the good, but they could have, they goofed off in college, in high school, and so, hence they went to community college. Uh, and and then um, the big one was the, um, what you thought happened, expected to happen, which was he, he wants to give $24,000 after you come out of the womb. Oh, can I go back in the room and come out again and get that 24000 <laughs> You want to go back in and come out? Can I, if he's giving $24,000 to people coming out of the womb, can we just all jump back into the womb right now and just shoot out? <laughs> I don't know if uh, there's a way to do that. I'm sure Elon Musk has a way to do this. If we can go to the moon, he could probably shoot us back into the womb and then just sort of shoot us out and we get our $24,000. Well, there's good news because Representative Neil wants to give you $70,000 you can go back in the womb. Oh, even better, shoot me further back in the womb. Or send me and, and, and clone me. Clone me and we'll have twins and we'll both come out of the womb and we'll get $70,000 and we'll each and it'll be wonderful, $140,000. <laughs> have this all figured out. I mean, really, I just, you know, I was born in the wrong generation. You know, the, the, the 19, the 1921 generation, <laughs> you should be messed that up. The 2021 generation I'm in. Yeah, it's just, there you go. The 2021 generation, they were the generation that they came out of the womb and they had it all. They had $74,000 waiting for them from this president. They had free community college. They had free preschool and they had 
Lots of tape from MacGyver. <laughs> Lots of tape from MacGyver. Yes, it was just a good year. It was a really good year. But Kelly Dodd was still on Orange County Housewives. <laughs> she was still on Orange County Housewives. Uh, you know, and did you see the tax rate uh, on, um, did you see what he talked about with tax uh, taxes uh, in tonight's um, address? I did not, Adelaide. I have not slept yet. I'd rather sleep a full night's sleep than be put to sleep by this president. <laughs> Yeah, talking about taxes puts a lot of people to sleep. It does. I think he's playing that out. What do you mean? I think, you know, as the president, he understands that you need to be a little bit entertaining because you're a president. And he is trying to put people, to, he knows that if you talk about taxes, they go to sleep. So what he's doing is he's not talking about taxes, so they stay awake. And then you don't know what the taxes are, and you're wide awake. But then you go to bed, and you wake up and you have a nightmare, realizing, oh, he didn't tell me about the taxes. <laughs> That's why you take NyQuil, why? Right? That's why you take NyQuil. <laughs> you take NyQuil because the president did not explain to you taxes, and you fell asleep and had a beautiful night's sleep. <laughs> so, um, do you think this fifth stimulus package is going to pass this way, Sir Lloyd? No, I don't. I don't. It's, you know, it's, um, I just think it has a likelihood of the, of the color wheel getting another turnaround with this press secretary. <laughs> you just think that, you just think this fifth stimulus is just in trouble. I just, I don't, I don't, I, it's not even a mansion problem. I just think Democrats are just not going to accept this. It's just, it's just, it's just um, a little strange. Now, what do you think is going to happen to the SSI reform if the fifth stimulus goes off the rail? Remember, the SSI reform goes on top of the fifth stimulus package. So what happens if the fifth stimulus package goes off the rails and, you know, people don't really support it? Then what's going to go on with the SSI reform? Oh, that's a really good question. You ask really hard questions, LA. That's, you know, what is this, double jeopardy? <laughs> no, I just, you know, just ask you your opinion. You're, I mean, you're sirloin. You're supposed to know all these questions. No, I'm, I'm a cow. I'm not supposed to all know all these questions. Even that guy from Yale doesn't know the answers to these questions. <laughs> That guy from Yale. He, yeah, you, I would expect you to know the answers before the guy from Yale. No, he's leaning against the wall because he doesn't know the answers to the questions. <laughs> against the law but I mean this is what this is what he came up with I mean this is this is what he did he, he was behind the fifth stimulus package no he was behind the empirical evidence behind the stimulus package he never tried out the stimulus package he never you know took it to um took it to uh Amazon Air and tried it out <laughs> He never took the stimulus package and tried it out at Amazon Hair. No, he didn't take it around the block in the new EV from Cadillac. He didn't air tag anyone with it. He just assumed it was going to work. What, so what happens if it doesn't work? What happens if the fifth stimulus package in September doesn't work? Then what? Um, well, doesn't Mitch, uh, doesn't Chuck Schumer have an extra few stimulus packages? Recons ready? I mean, Chuck Schumer saved all those extra recons. How many recons can Chuck Schumer save, Ellie Lake? This doesn't sound fair. <laughs> he has a lot of extra recons saved up. Do you notice that? He has, like, recons saved to, like, 20 years from now. I've never seen a person save so many recons in my life, Ellie. How can Chuck, do you have that graphic? <laughs> I think I do have a graphic on how many recons he saved up as Leader Schumer. I just, you know, LA, how can you save so many reconciliation? Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, yes. Can you show that to the viewers? Okay, I'll show it. I'll show it to the viewers. Um, let's look at it. Yeah, there you go. So Chuck Schumer has a, an extra recon saved from last year. He didn't use it. He got an extra one from the parliamentarian. So now he has two. He gets one in the fall, so he has three. And if he fouls up everything, he gets another one next year. <laughs> That's actually not a joke. It's actually true. Yeah, I'm not trying to be funny. He actually has three more recounts. So this president can really mess up, and he'll be good till the next election. <laughs> He could literally do three more recons. I mean, we could be doing recons till past the midterm election. Was this what has happened before, LA? It just seems so different. Uh, you know, it just, you know, it sounds like a Madonna revival. <laughs> it sounds like a Madonna revival. No, Mudonna revival. It sounds like, you know, it sounds like a bad recollection like a, a re-release of old tracks you already heard I'm like i've already heard that song why are you re-releasing it <laughs> so yeah i mean he can just keep on doing recon after recon 
So what do you think tomorrow's reaction is going to be to tonight's um, press briefing from the president? Oh, there's an alarm. Do you hear the alarm? Yes, there's a alert. They're looking for someone who has a brain cell that hadn't done a correct for stimulus package tonight. <laughs> See, I think I think you were right, Sir Lloyd. There's an Amber Alert set up. There's an Amber Alert. They're looking for someone who absolutely has a better idea for four stimulus and fifth stimulus. And they're just sending out the alert. You are absolutely correct, LA. <laughs> I don't know if the viewers heard that. Uh, you know, I, did you think they heard that on the congressional floor when the bill when the when he had his congressional alert? No, Nancy muffled it. Remember how Nancy tore up the script when Donald talked? She hit the mute button, just like you, how you hit the mute button. I don't hit the mute button. Well, you you know sometimes you have no audio. <laughs> oh, stop reminding viewers of that snafu. Uh, meantime, Sir Lion, changing subjects. Have you seen the viewers' comments about you? I have. And I really appreciate I appreciate the viewers that's that have supported the show. No, I'm talking about the viewers who don't like you. <laughs> the viewers who don't like me. Who are the viewers who don't like me? Uh, well, there's some viewers <laughs> every night. Every night, there's you know, there's I don't know, five thousand likes and then one dislike. And who's the one dislike? Is it Nancy? <laughs> No, it's is it the guy that leans against the wall? It's him, right? He tunes in and he says, I don't like you. No, it's 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 usually someone says, Why is LA talking to himself? <laughs> He's not you're not talking to yourself. You're talking to me. You're talking to Sir Lloyd. I know. They, they, and then people correct that viewer and say, LA's not talking to himself. He's talking to Sir Lloyd. And then other viewers, and then that, that viewer says, Who's Sir Lloyd? And I understand this. This is very confusing. What does it mean it's very confusing? I'm a cow. My name is Sir Lloyd. I'm the cow lobbyist. If you don't know me, then read the cliff notes to the show before you tune in. <laughs> sort of like, you know. Yeah, I, I, if you don't understand what the show's about, then maybe you should watch the old tapings before you comment. <laughs> and, and what else do they say about Sir Lloyd? I'm, oh, there's an Amber Alert. There's a, they're, they're looking for the person so they, that person has a brain cell so that before they, they comment about me next time, they understand what the show's about. <laughs> Let's see if we can hear what the Amber Alert is about t tonight. Is it, 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 oh, it doesn't say anything. Well, no, they, the, the, there's, there's a person that always says, um, stop making jokes. This is deadly serious. This is very important and very serious matters. What's very serious? A cow? <laughs> I think they want you to be more serious, Sir Lloyd. Me? More serious? I'm a cow. Uh, cows are slaughtered across the country. Do you want me to make a YouTube video about cows being slaughtered and that will make you more comfortable? We can all cry together and we can have tissues and, and we can cry more than cow riches on a given night. We can all sit here and cry all night. And you, Is that what you want? <laughs> I think what, that's what the, that person wants. They want you to be sad, Ali. And then there's always someone that tunes in and says, why are you making jokes? I just want seriousness. You've always made jokes, Ali. You've made jokes since the very first broadcast of this channel. Now, they weren't always funny. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, some of them weren't very humorous, but you've improved over time. And you, you've added me to the lineup, and that really certainly helped. Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, you know, I am certainly the, the, what's changed this channel a lot was the addition to Sirloin. Before Sirloin, it was just a VLA. And she's not particularly that funny. Um, but when you added Sirloin, it just took it up in a notch. Uh, and, you know, and I asked you to bring other cows on the show, but you've declined that idea. <laughs> what have you asked me to bring other cows on the show? I've mentioned many, many times, we should have a whole herd of cows on the show. And, you know, you, you could just go on for retirement. <laughs> Wait a second, you're pushing me out of the door. You're pushing me out of the the show itself. Yes, we could just sort of move you out and just cows could show us the show. There would be no more you. Just a lot of cows all night long. <laughs> then who would do the uh, who would do the coverage of the live, you know, press briefing like tonight with the president? The cows would. Well, well wait, you don't know anything about what the president's doing. Well, who does? He just, you know, he oh the, the, <laughs> They're sending out another alert for someone. You know, maybe they're sending out alerts for new hosts for the channel. <laughs> you're going to, uh, Sir Lloyd, this is not very fair. We, well, you're talking about how they don't like me. Maybe they don't like you. Maybe, you know, uh, <laughs> I just say they don't like you. They said they don't want you to make jokes. They don't want me to make jokes. Well, um, this is a very serious matter, Airline. <laughs> no, that's what they say. Yes. So anyway, uh, uh, I, 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 you know, 
it's good that you stay here. But if you ever want to leave and go on vacation, indefinitely, <laughs> I'll be happy to cover him. Uh, I'll cover all the teal he does. <laughs> You'll just talk about fashion all night, Sir Lloyd. That's not what the viewers want to hear. They don't want to hear fashion. They want to hear when they get their stimulus checks. Well, I'll say, you know, you'll get your fast, you'll get your stimulus check when he changes his fashion to size decisions. But he never changes his fashion ideas. Nor does she. Well, you know, um, then maybe they won't get stimulus check. <laughs> Sir Lloyd. <laughs> Uh, so, Tim, Sir Lloyd, are you interested? Are you excited for tomorrow? I am. Tomorrow's going to be the reaction to the uh, tonight. Uh, yeah. What do you think they're going to say? They're going to say, "Oh, it's wonderful." No, I'm not talking about the reaction to you. I think they're going to react to the president's speech tomorrow, not the reaction to you. Everything's about you tonight, isn't it? It is about me. You know, I should have had the presidential address tonight. I should address both members of Congress. <laughs> what would you have said if you had addressed both members of Congress? You can go home. You haven't done anything. You can go home. You haven't done anything. And you, who are you? Uh, I don't know why you got into here. Can security, can you escort this person out? <laughs> That's how you would have addressed them. Yes, I would have said, unless you've actually done something as a congressman, you can just leave and um, uh, leave the chair behind you. Uh, I'll clean it behind you. <laughs> You would just sort of dismiss them all. I think we would, that's what we need you to do. And I would have turned to Nancy and said, Amazon Air. <laughs> I booked an appointment for you. Amazon Air. <laughs> thank you, Sir Eli, for your insight. And thank you for joining me on tonight's a uh, Late Night. Uh, boy, I'll see you tomorrow morning on Early Morning Delight. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, our council, you know, VIP. Stay informed, stay focused, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. And stay. Uh,